we move ahead now to 152 pounds. One of our featured matchups, Kevin in the gold singlet, going for state title number two, his third trip to the state finals from Maguanago, a perfect 44-0. Billy Schlotke taking him on from Mortonville, a senior with a record of 33-8 in the white and red singlet, Jake Abholt. What can you say about Billy Schlotke, a state runner-up as a sophomore? He was a champion as a junior, comes in this year undefeated. Very sound wrestler in Billy Schlotke, and uh, he looks for number two here tonight. Yeah, and you like Billy Schlotke. I like what he represents. I like how he wrestles. He's just a professional out there, and, um, you know, good good role model for everybody else out there. Very articulate, very educated, and, and a multiple sport athlete, but they're great great shot and finish there for, for a 2-0 lead but state champion a year ago undefeated this year coming in undefeated and still flies under the radar for some reason um, Billy Schlocky talked about by a few people as, as being one of the premier wrestlers here in the state but gets overshadowed by some of the other big stars in the state and, and at 152 pounds in division two there's, there's Zach Sabula going for his fourth state title and, and in years past he's been overshadowed by people people just like that so um, Billy Schlocky comes in though as, as one of the more dominant wrestlers here in Wisconsin over the last two years and he's undefeated again looking for a second state title at 152 pounds and our second uh, wrestler from Hortonville tonight we saw Anthony Vanderhey and great takedown by Schlocky on the ankle pick one of the great matches for the night Kevin Anthony Vanderhey defeating Malachi Root earlier tonight and now here is Jake Abholt uh, Vanderhey's teammate going at 152 pounds. Yeah, Schlecki goes right for that cradle. Did a great job, and, and he, he went to that cross face, and the, the, the key to the technique in that cross face cradle is you want to bring the head to the knee rather than trying to use your, your strength and, and lock those hands by, by moving his leg, but instead there, Schlecki did bring that head to the knee, but Apple did, did a good job at breaking the grip, but he still got that. There he goes again, gets that lock, brings that head to the knee. He's got a cradle locked up, so 4-1 with 24 seconds remaining now in the, in the first period and Shaki looking for some near fall. Good job by Abhold to attack that lock, attack the grip and break the break the grip of the cradle. And Billy Schlotke, uh, got to go all the way back to his uh, sophomore. It seems like uh, forever ago when he uh, lost in the state finals uh, to then uh, one of the great wrestlers we saw in the last several years from Wisconsin Rapids, Kevin Tritz, defeated Schlotke 9-3 in uh, that semi-final matchup. And uh, ever since then, Schlocky has uh, been the class of these uh, upper middle weights as he uh, rolled through the tournament last year as a junior and uh, hasn't really been touched this year. Closest match came in the semis last night, 6-3 over Eric Van Evenhoven of Kaukauna. But uh, it has pretty much been Billy Schlotky the last two years uh, here at 152 pounds. Yeah, he wrestled up at 160 pounds throughout most of the season and then, and then came down at regional time. You can tell he is he is a, um, a good size 152 pounder, but doesn't look like he's cutting a lot of weight either. So at 160 pounds throughout the entire season, he dominated competitions up a weight class, and now he's down to 152 the state tournament and there he's getting some more near fall great great and job Shockey Shockey. trying to end it right here Kevin as he's got the near fall and trying to pin Abhold of Hortonville Billy Schlotke 45 and 0 a year ago 44 and 0 this year trying to make it back to back 45 and 0 seasons 90 and 0 the last two years for Billy Schlotke what an amazing career he's had to go with that uh, runner-up finish as a sophomore. So uh, you talk about the run Billy schlocky has been on. It was 33-4 and four as a sophomore for trying to make it 123-4 and four over the last three years here for Billy Schlocky. Yeah, he's out to a 7-1 lead, and he's showing some great, great athletic ability there in the neutral position and then with a couple good turns, and, and Schlocky is an athlete. He's a very accomplished 800-meter runner as well and, and he'll he'll run this spring um for for mcguanago and hopefully um earn another trip to the to the state championships in lacrosse um, in in june so um billy schlocky wrestling is not the only thing on his plate he also is successful in some other sports and looking to possibly um compete in in track and field as well as wrestling at the collegiate level so um, Schlocky is just an all-around great great athlete all-around great student and just a just a tremendous kid and um working on that cross face again he's you can see him looking back there he looked to the knee maybe looking for another cross face cradle and there apple brings that knee up but now it goes off to the two on one so seven one now with 20 seconds remaining in the second period and how about to kevin the tournament that uh, jake abhold has had one nothing last night in the semifinals over jr lewis 
of Greenfield. And before that, it was 9-8 over Brett Balwig, the undefeated 42-0 wrestler from Sauk Prairie. So Abhold, a couple of wild victories uh, to get here. But uh, running into a buzzsaw with Billy Schlotke, who says, I'll go neutral to start this period. Schlotke leads at 7-1, but uh, you can't forget about Jake Abhold and what he's done to get here. Yeah, and then Abhold uh, came through that bottom half of the brackets and, you know, essentially unheard of up to this point and comes in with eight losses. Some other wrestlers on that side, you mentioned Balwig, and then there was Chris Fallon from, from Marshfield and even Dwayne Hale from Milwaukee Custer. Some of those guys you thought you'd, you'd see sneak through here um, into the finals, but it's Abhold who, who uh, oh, good, good takedown again by Schlocky. He does a great job at off-balancing his wrestler. He, you can see there he pulled Abhold forward, caught him on his heels, and just dropped down to, to a double leg and, and sat him to his butt, so it's 9-2. But Abhold has worked hard to get to the state finals, and, um, you know, fellow, fellow teammate um, Anthony Vandehei wins a state title earlier here tonight, and, and you know, Abhold feeding off, off the success of of Vandehei and, and we've seen it here in Division 2 and Division 3 throughout the night. A lot of times teammates raise that, those expectations and, and you help, help feed off the energy and some of the great things that your teammates are doing and you find yourself in the finals and they're after that works a little bit of a reversal of his own. So it's 9-4 to four now in the third period. He wants something on top because he's looking, looking for everything he can get to try to get Schlocky to move a little bit so he can maybe fall into a turn and have hold right now. Just a lot of, lot of action, maybe needs to settle down a little bit and look for, look for something, something a little bit more concrete, but 50 seconds to go, and uh, Schlotke is, is leading nine to four. Well, uh, Jake Apple, to give him credit, he's uh, still competing here as he got that reversal, 45 seconds to go. Might want to think about uh, releasing Schlotke and uh, go back to neutral. Might be his uh, best bet at this point, but uh, shot out of there, the Hortonville coaching staff, and. Uh, See what Schlotke and uh, Abhold, we'll see what Abhold decides to do here with Sh Schlotke, Kevin, these uh, final 35 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds to go. Schlotke looking, looking to make 90 match winning streak and, and comes in under the radar, like you said. And, you know, reminds me a little bit of, of Nick Hager over there on the Division II mat, who just won his third state title. Um, they don't draw much attention to themselves. They're involved in a lot of other things, so wrestling's not the only thing on their plate. But Billy Schlotke, all around great kid, terrific role model. And, um, you know, we, we've done interviews with him in the past, very articulate, and just understands the sport and understands how to act in public, too, as, as, a, as a role model. And 15 seconds left. And, and he here is Schlotke with the reversal. So that should do it, Kevin. 11-4. Billy Schlotke just seconds away from a back-to-back -back state title, one of the best two-season runs we've seen in Division One. 90-match winning streak is... Puts Apple to his back, but it won't matter. Time is up. Billy Schlotke of McQuanago. What a run. His last two seasons, 90 and 0. Capping it off here with another state title in 2008 for the senior from McQuanago. What can you say, Kevin, about Billy Schlotke? Great work ethic, great all around young man. He wins it here tonight. Yeah, terrific match and a terrific career. Capped off tonight with another state championship by Billy Schlotke at 152 pounds. Congratulations to the senior from McQuanago. Great 152 pound career comes on in here tonight for Billy Schlock. Listen to your